Hello everyone, in this robotics and mechatronics tutorial I will explain how to assemble the differential wheeled robot that you can see over here. I was thinking that I will not have to make a tutorial on how to assemble this relatively simple differential wheeled robot. However, I was wrong. Okay, let's explain what's the main issue. You will have to attach the motor and its gear reducer to the robot chassis by using these brackets. On this side everything is fine. You need to put the bracket, then you will have these long screws and on the other side you have to put the nut. The top nut is fine. However, the main issue is with the bottom nut. As you can see over here, and I just tried to do that, this nut cannot be tightened. This spacing, that is the spacing between this screw and this base is too small. And that's the first issue. Of course there are se several other issues. Due to this and similar issues I will create a complete tutorial on how to assemble this robot. Okay, let's start. The first thing you need to do is to create enough space over here such that the bottom nut can fit and such that you can screw it. Over here I'm using a box cutter that's relatively sharp, however you can also use your kitchen knife. If you have a better idea on how to do this, please let me know in the comments below this video. I discovered that the box cutter works perfectly. However, you can also use some other device. So over here I will zoom in and I will show you what I'm currently doing. So you can see. The same thing you need to do on the other side, that is over here. So here is what I did. You can see over here and over here. I think this will work. Let's check. First, we will explain how to attach motors. However, let's give a big picture. Here is the motor and over here we will mount the wheel. It's very important to mount the motor such that the wires are on this side. Be careful about that. Okay, let's first learn how to attach the motor. To attach the motor, we will need two of these brackets. Here they are. The motor will be mounted over here and later on we will mount the wheel. It's very important that these wires are on the inner side. To attach the motor we first need to put this bracket, then we need another bracket, here it is, and we need a long screw. You will have four screws, four long screws in the package and here is the screw. Next, you need to attach this screw to both of these brackets. This might be a little bit tricky, however, after some time you will be able to do it. Let me see, can I do it? Perfect. I'm able to do it. Okay, so here's what ha what is happening. Two brackets motor and here's a screw and then immediately you can take one of the nuts and you can put the nut over here let's now do the difficult part you will find another long screw and this long screw should come below then on the other side we need to put a nut however since we created enough space over here, we will be able to put this nut. 
Here's the knot and then we can nicely tighten this knot. You can also use a tool to do that. Or another option is to hold the knot like this and on the other side you can use for example a screwdriver or something like that. So however you need to be patient and you will be able to tighten this knot. Now let's tighten both of these knots. And the top one and let's let us use a screwdriver here it is and let's do this let's hold a nut on this side and let's screw it from the top side okay you need to do that for the top nut also for the time being, we will not add encoders to our design. The encoders will be included later on once we test this minimal design without encoders and once we make sure that the system is functioning properly. However, we will still add these encoder disks or encoder wheels. We need to add them over here. And make sure that they can spin freely. Later on we will verify that. Okay, let's test the spinning. Okay, no issues. Let's see the other side. No issues. Okay. The next step is to fix this caster over here. Let's do that. To fix the caster, we'll be using these four spacers. Let's do that. Here are the spacers. And here's our caster. To add the caster, we will be using these smaller screws. Okay, so let's add the caster. The easiest strategy to fix the spacer is to first put the screw over here, then you can hold the screw like this and then you can simply on the other side attach the spacer and you need to do that for all four spacers so let's do that for the third one here it is oops and on the other side you do this Once you add the spacers, you need to attach the spacers and the caster to our base. Okay, that's relatively easy. Take, again, smaller screws and screw them from the top. Once you do that, make sure that you screw them properly from the top and from the bottom next let's attach the wheels to attach the wheels I suggest that you put this shaft over here in the horizontal position do the same thing for the other side and here you can add the wheels. Once you attach the wheels, it's a very good idea to test if everything is working perfectly. For that purpose, you can use a power supply. Over here I'm applying 5 volts and I will test the motors. Okay, let's see what happens. Perfect. We can see that the motor is spinning. 
and you can see the current draw over here if you have a resistance you can see that the current can go up to let's for example even 0.4 amps and you can see the power the power is around 1 or 2 watts here is again how our motor spins it works nicely next let's test the right motor perfect the right motor is also spinning now let's see what happens if we increase the voltage as we increase the voltage we can observe that the motor spins with a faster angular velocity next we mount the on and off switch over here and the final step is to attach the battery container here's the battery container to attach the battery container we'll be using these mounting holes and we will be using these middle-sized screws first put the screw over here and then hold with this finger over here and find the mounting hole here it is then on the other side you can use this nut to secure the screw you need to do the same thing for the second screw over here that is you need to attach the nut okay here are the both nuts and then you can use a screwdriver to fix the battery container while holding the nut on the other side and finally here it is here is the completed assembly of the differential wheeled robot